May, as I understand it, you've you've launched a uh, an AI model whose uh, competitive advantage is much lower cost. You were able to develop it at much lower cost than others, like say uh, OpenAI. And as I understand it, you and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you did that using synthetic data. I explain to the audience and to me, for that matter, uh, exactly what that means, how it worked, what were the benefits you derived by doing it that way. And what are some of the potential risks in terms of degraded performance or, or other potential problems? Yeah, it, synthetic data definitely needs a rebrand. I mean, it doesn't sound like data you would want to use, right? It's synthetic data. Um, but actually, it's been the, the key to our success across our family of, of models um, and building models that are copyright free and transparent and reliable. Um, and actually, they are the same techniques that you know DeepSeek a year later, um, you know, wrote about in, in their papers. We had written about it as as well. And what our approach entails um, is really looking at the types of data that you really want your model to know about if you're doing the kind of mission critical workflows um, that that Martin talked about. Um, we help a lot of banks as well. We help a lot of healthcare companies. We help pharma companies. And you know, the data that makes those use cases work isn't on the internet. Uh, and so when we synthesize data for our domain specific models as well as our core um, models, uh, we are really looking at the types of data that a healthcare model should have, right? It should know what a Quest Diagnostics sheet looks like. It should know what a blood draw result looks like. If it's a financial services model, you know, it knows what everything in Edgar looks like, uh, as well as what a fun tear sheet looks like. And so when you synthesize data against those requirements, what you're really building, here's the rebrand, is LLM ready data. And you think about everything that's on the internet today, it's content and data that was built for human consumption. But what you really need to get these models to perform is data that is built for LLM consumption. And so that is what we are synthesizing, both the you know, content of um, the, the data, so it's original and it's not you know, copyrighted, as well as the format. And I'll give you an example. You know, there might be data for our instruct models that we've at training data that we've actually formatted as a question and answer pair. Right, so then you're not having to guess as the model, right, what that uh, information needs to look like when you see a query come in. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what we mean by synthetic data, and um, we've been talking about it for years, and you know, it is definitely the, the path forward for, for those types of models. 